Hello and welcome to everyone to my channel in which I usually talk about you know the interview questions that are being asked in the market and some tricky problems that, that we come across in talent. So if you guys remember in the last video we talked about uh, a method to you know introduce a delay in talent jobs. So that video was about you know that there is a component row generator which is kind of generating rows then you've kind of replicated uh, the output that comes in from row generator into two parts. So one is like the delayed uh, delayed uh, processing that we are doing, uh, that's on the top side of it. And on the bottom side of it, we've got T-File Output Delimited 2 component, which is kind of recording the uh, source data as it is coming in from the source. So this was uh, the problem statement that we discussed about. And this is like what we we already discussed about you know there are different questions that can that can be framed around this scenario. So if if you kind of interested in getting through all this, I've, I've added the link of my previous video in the comment box. Uh, just go ahead and check that uh, uh, video as well. So this was the vis visualization that we done for the data flow. So you've got source, you've got a target. The main heart of it is like counting the number of rows and then waiting for X amount of time. And this was the solution, the proposed solution that we had. These are the components which are already discussed in the previous video. And this was the table in which we were doing the conversion. So on the right hand corner, you've got hours. Uh, so how do you derive hours? It's like uh, minutes. Uh, so uh, one hour is like 60 minutes. So one hour is like 60 minutes and it's like equal to 3600 milliseconds. So this was kind of a hint that uh, I had posted in my previous video uh, while I was kind of preparing that one. Just to make you guys, you know, think a little bit more about, you know, how these conversions are happening and how can you do that. So I'll just quickly go on to the video or uh, the job that I created last time. And the main heart of this job was the logic that I kind of implemented over here. So it's basically an if else statement. Uh, in the if statement, I'm trying to check if the number of rows is uh, less than 10. So int i is like my integer uh, value for this context variable. This is not an ideal way of declaring a variable, but for the sake of understanding, I've put it as int i, which is like less, if it is less than 10, this code block would get executed. So in this code block, what I'm trying to do is whatever that's coming in from my source, I'm transmitting it along with that. I'm trying to convert uh, a date time, uh, trying to calculate a date time. And then uh, increment value is another very uh, increment value is like another uh, column in which I'm kind of, you know, populating the data uh, for this int i variable. And then I'm kind of incrementing this. So these two three things were used just for you know uh, sorry these two couple of things uh, over here this one and this one were kind of um, an add-on which which we put to you know understand if there is actually a delay in the output file or not and then this is the incrementation that we're doing for this variable and this was the uh, CISO message that we were trying to print like execute so once we've transmitted like 10 rows, uh, this uh, variable kind of, you know, reaches like uh, its uh, threshold value of 10, then this if loop would be broken and you'll come down to the else part of it. In the else part, what we were supposed to do is we were supposed to wait. So thread.sleep is the method that we kind of used to introduce a delay in the job. Uh, the next step is like uh, you just reset all your variables and then you kind of process. So simple and sweet solution for this problem. 